hi everyone and welcome to today's video in this video we are going to discuss about the aws rate based rule statement which can be which can help you implementing the ddos attack now the rate based rule statement that we are going to discuss today it's a part of aws waf and it's basically used through the web acl so we are quickly going to understand how the dos and ddos works and then we are going to go back to rate based rule statement and understand how this can be useful in preventing the dos or ddos attacks now if we simply take a look at this a uh, uh, dos attack it's basically a cyber attack in which you try to overload the uh, resources of the remote server through which a uh, web application or mobile application is getting served by making too many requests on that server in and uh, with the objective of overloading the server so that the uh, obviously the system becomes slow as the traffic becomes high and if it is not able to uh, serve the handle the kind of request or dns search which basically happens with these requests uh, it's go, it's going to go down now dos attacks are done from the single machine so it can easily be tracked and you can put a stop to it using the aws based nacl rules which are available so you can go into your nacl attack that is being happening block those kind of attacks now that is my need if you see spikes and when you check from the log now this kind of attacks is simple and feature that it has been originating from a denial of service attack difference between the distributed denial almost over a period of time and they are typically placed and these words on your system so mean them so easily because it will coming to your server then from the uh, uh, this is what the distribute um, this from a wikipedia so here you will uh, do also attack now if we take a look at this is suppose that okay now since our app receive the traffic from the either from the mobile applications is contributing to it now this is now how the deed machine which is uh, orchestrating that handlers are the compromised gap of security due to the unavailability in which the vulnerabilities have been uh, uh, you can say it's a series of locations not the people whose machine they are taking a part in the dos attack they their machine have been corrupted or uh, might they might not have due to which someone is exposed due to this vulnerability they have been compromised now the problem is that once uh, once a causes such kind of system creates in the machine this becomes a challenge uh, number of computers are have been uh, sent with the systems right uh, and you will have to think of a uh, has a pre kind of dos attacks on their machines okay one of them is a rule based or the rule based statement explaining you about the how they happen now in the second that uh, 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 which basically allows you to this uh, rule uh, okay which is a part of where basis is the service provided by such kind of attacks on your machine okay so that's all for this video ready this will help related 